The Prime Minister is citing new data showing that flight MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. It is unclear exactly what happened to the flight, but the implication appears to be that uh, flight 370 crashed in the Indian Ocean. Uh, there is no talk of either survivors or wreckage. As we know, planes and ships have been scouring the southern Indian Ocean in an effort to find some indication of where this flight went down, Scarlett. And they did point out that they would hold a press conference tomorrow, a news conference tomorrow with further details. But this news conference would, was a very simple declaration that flight uh, MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. New satellite data concluded that it flew along the southern corridor that right. a lot of people had uh, analyzed. And the last known position of the flight was in the middle of the Indian Ocean. As you probably know, if you've taken a look at the world map, there is not much in the southern Indian Ocean. The possibility, who knows, who knows what happened to the flight, as we say, no discussion in that press conference of wreckage. There have been reports, possibly, of a wooden pallet, uh, satellite imagery provided by Chinese and other countries suggest that there have been sightings of something floating in the Indian Ocean. Again, the Prime Minister, it would appear, trying to put to rest, at the very least, the debate over which way the plane flew. Did it fly north towards Kazakhstan? Did it fly south right. into the Indian Ocean? Uh, citing new Inmarsat satellite data as suggesting definitively that Flight 370 ended somewhere in the southern Indian Ocean. And a way to communicate to families as well that the plane is lost. MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. It's a story we'll continue to monitor. We'll bring you any headlines that do cross. We do know that Malaysia's government will host another news conference tomorrow with further developments uh, as they get them. Yes, Australian uh, search parties, uh, French search parties, and uh, aircraft and ships from other countries continue to search for any sign of where that flight may have gone down.